About 10 months ago, I bought this 2021 Ram Promaster to convert into a tiny house on wheels. After many, many, many hours of work, I'm finally done. It's finished and I'm ready to give you a tour. So let's go check it out. The first thing I have here is my bug screen, my bug wall. I wanted to have this because I wanna be able to sit inside the van with the sliding door open and not worry about bugs coming in. This gives me not just protection from bugs, but also when I'm sitting in there, I feel like I have a little bit more privacy. So it's really easy to come in and out. These are magnetized, so I can just step in and they pretty much automatically will close. So that's that. And then I can also just fold it up and keep it open which is what we're gonna do now so that I can continue showing you the rest of the van. I was trying to keep this van clean so that I could give you a nice clean tour, but it's already getting dirty. What can you do? I have a little mat here. It has some type of rubber underneath, so it helps it stay in place. All right, so that's the entrance. Now let me get you a little closer. These are my two little plants I have here on the wall. And um, I love plants. I've had them here for about two weeks and they are still alive. So hopefully I can keep all of my plants alive. I only have three in the van so far, but in the future, if I can, I'll have a lot more. Behind me, I have a partition wall. Initially, I was just gonna have a curtain separating the front from the back of the van, but I decided to go ahead and build a partition wall because it helps with insulation and privacy. I left this open. I have some storage space up here and I have this door that I can keep locked at night or when I'm driving. It's not very wide or tall, but wide and tall enough for me. I painted everything black on this side so that when people look in, they won't be able to see anything. And I also have a um, dash cam. I can see the back of the van. I can see behind me when driving. I have a little table. I probably will sit here on this side and just um, work on the computer, eat, whatever. I have enough space here for two people if needed. I have storage underneath and my Webasto heater, which uses gas from the gas tank in the van. When, when it's cold outside, I can turn it on and stay cozy in the van. I needed a cushion that would fit perfectly in here. It was custom made. I found a company online that will make cushions according to whatever size you need. And then in here, it's not the easiest to get in, but I have storage on both sides here. And here above the sitting area, I have two cabinets. I have struts to keep them open when needed, and then magnets to keep them closed when I'm driving. This is all just birch plywood. I used white oak veneers to cover them. Cabinets are hard to make, so this was an easy way to finish them, and uh, I'm pretty happy with them. I forgot to mention I have an outlet here on the wall uh, so that I can plug in my computer, my phone, whatever I need to charge. This is my electrical system console. I have the EcoFlow power kit installed in the van. It's uh, 400 amp hours of battery. And uh, all of that is underneath the bed. I'll show you that at the end. I also have a shower in the van. I really wanted to have a shower because if I go hiking and I can't find a place to, to rinse off, I want the privacy. I wanna be able to go hiking and then come back in the van, take a quick rinse. It's just a convenience. This is not going to be where I will be taking long, full showers, but it's nice to have something that you can use to rinse quickly and not go to bed dirty at night. I have a 24 by 32 inch shower pan. So it's, it's pretty large considering the limited space that I have here in the van. But because I have enough space here, I wanted to add a little wall and a full length mirror on the wall. When you look at it, I like how you can see 
part of the kitchen on the mirror. It makes the space look a little bigger, I think. I was very nervous about building this shower, but I'm very happy with the way it looks so far. No leaks, no issues. I, um, I don't know how things will be once I start driving, but we'll see. We'll find out. I'll make another video in the future talking about how things hold. I wanted to keep everything light, so I used curdy board. And then these tiles here, these are PVC tiles, so they are very light and waterproof. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to show you, I also have one of these doors, the Nautilus retractable doors. I can keep that closed when showering. And my, my little shower mat. I made this myself with uh, cedar wood. I couldn't find anything that would fit there as perfectly as that, so I made it myself. And I'm really happy with how that turned out. I have a little, a little niche there for shampoo, soaps, etc. And uh, we can turn this off. I also have a toilet. I haven't used it yet, so it just stays in here. And then when I shower, I can remove it, take it out. I just got the floor wet. Now I'm gonna show you the kitchen. I have a beautiful, beautiful countertop. This is a one and a half inch butcher block. I have a very deep sink here. It's 17 by 17 by 10 inches deep. I don't have a fixed stove, but I have an air fryer, a toaster. When I'm ready to cook, I'll just use those things and I'll keep them somewhere. Somewhere I have enough storage, I think, to keep those things in the van. This is my control panel. My solar panels are not getting a lot of power right now, so I don't have any, any power in the van, but this is my, my puck lights on a dimmer, my water pump, which works really well. I have a switch for my water heater. I have a 2.5 gallon Bosch water heater and it consumes a lot of electricity so we're probably not going to be using this much and then down here i have two uh, gauges one of them lets me know how much water is in the fresh water tank and then the other one um, tells me how much water there is in the gray water tank i have a 32 gallon fresh water tank and a 20 gallon gray water tank the gray water tank is underneath the van and the fresh water tank is under my bed. Then I have my, my faucet. If I need to wash my feet outside, I can always just turn this and spray outside. I also have my little paper towel holder right here. This is my little dehumidifier. You can see how much water, just in about 12 hours, this is how much water it has collected. It's crazy. So I'm in Florida right now. It's really humid, really hot. So this is good to have. I got a little peel and stick backsplash here. Uh, really cute. And then I have a, an outlet. I have a drawer here, push to open. And my pull-out pantry. I love this because it has a lot of storage space. I can keep all of my food, all of my spices in here. I keep it closed and locked so that it doesn't open when I'm driving. Here I have a space for my trash can. My water heater is underneath here, so that occupies a good amount of space. But then I put these little containers here on the door so that I can keep my cleaning supplies or whatever, sponges, whatever I need. And this is also kept closed with a magnet. I have another drawer here next to the bed. And this one is a little bigger. And of course my fridge, this is an Isotherm 85 fridge. Convenient, big enough for me. So that's that. So I have more cabinets here. These are the same as the other ones. Uh, not very big cabinets, hopefully big enough. I'm gonna keep my clothes in them. 
all of my clothes and personal items will go in here. I have my little plant doing really well so far. So this is my bed, one of the most comfortable mattresses I've ever had. It's a six inch custom made mattress from Comfort Sleep. It's a company in North Carolina and uh, I highly recommend them. I'm gonna leave a link to them in the description of this video in case you need a custom made mattress. They will cut it no matter what size you need, no matter if you have weird angles or edges, they will make it work for you. It's a fixed bed, but if I need to remove it, I can. I built it in a way that allows me to take it out if I need to get into the, the water system or the electrical system. So it's fixed, but with the option to remove if needed. I also got some window covers for privacy and insulation. Let me show you. I have two that go back here and they're nice because they just They just go like that. I don't have to do anything. I just put them in, magnetized, so they stay on. And then when I'm ready to remove them, I just take them out, fold them, and put them away. Really easy. And I can open these windows, get some air, which is what I should have done long ago. I have these little lights also that I can turn on at night. This is uh, really, really nice, really comfortable, really nice. I'm really happy with how this, this turned out. Here we have the fresh water tank, the inlet. This is where we can put water in, into the tank. This whole thing, the whole bed is easy to remove. So if I need to get in here, I can. On this other side, we have the electrical system. And these two fans are keeping my electrical system cool. I can get under here and open this door, my battery, my distribution panel, everything is under the bed. I have a five kilowatt EcoFlow power kit, and then I have a little bit of space down here for storage. I also have a little bookshelf right up there. On the driver's side of the van, I also have a little shore power plug and a ladder that can take us up to the roof rack. We can look at the solar panels here. I have my two max air fans and two solar panels. These are 200 watts each. I forgot to mention, I also, I also have an outlet here next to the bed. So that's important to have in case I want to charge my phone or my computer when I'm in bed. That is all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, comments, please comment below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because now that I'm done building the van, I plan to start traveling soon and having some adventures. I hope you join me. See you soon. Bye.